Hi, Gabby. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. And you, teacher? I'm okay. I just need my glasses, Gabby. Give me one second. <gasps> Okay. I need my glasses. I can't see. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now it's better, Gabby, and now I can't see. <laughs> I'm like, oh, now I can't see anything. Oh, okay. My how are you today, Gabby? Um, I'm so so. <laughs> so so, how come? <laughs> you tired uh, a little bit? Yes. Yeah. All right, I know, I know. And it's only Tuesday. <laughs> yes, and the weekend was very tired. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. all right okay well i hope that everything gets better this week and it's gonna be raining and that doesn't help much <laughs> it's true yeah all right good morning senior hi carla joanna how are you hello hello good morning good morning, good morning. how are you girls um so, so. <laughs> so, so, I know. It's a yeah. Is it raining by your house or not really? Uh, not really. Okay. Uh, uh, but uh, I see many clothes. Yeah, I know. It's very, very cloudy here. And it was like um, raining a little bit, but now it stopped. So, but it's very cloudy. I think that is the night. Uh, the, the, rain? the rain? Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's see what happens. But yeah, my classes at university got cancelled. So <laughs> I true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I have like. Uh huh. In my case, no teacher. No, because, Carla. No, because uh, <laughs> we we last uh, two weeks. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. and, and this weekend is the partial. The exams. Oh, okay. The exams, right? Yeah. You know what? I didn't know. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I had to be. <laughs> Yay. It was very good. Yeah. You know, at Evangelica, we finished this week. Well, we had final exams uh, this week. But because of this, the, you know, we got suspended and everything, we're going to have the exams next week. And at UCA, yes. we also suspended yesterday. I mean, today we have no classes at UCA. Mm. So, yes, okay. only, only, only the nursing. Only the nursing. <laughs> I know. Oh, oh no, oh. you're Carlita. <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. Well, yeah. Yeah, I guess it depends on every university, you know, at the end. Yes. Right. I. Mm, esperanza, ¿cómo se dice? I, esperanza. I, I hope, have... I hope. Uh, I hope. I, I hope uh, that this day uh, suspend the activities. <laughs> no kidding, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's hope so. Let's keep our, our fingers crossed, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Nice. All right. Hi, Exa. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today, Exa? A little sleepy. Yeah, a little sleepy, I know. Sometimes it's very difficult to wake up in the morning. Did you go to bed late? It is at one. Oh my goodness, Exa. <laughs> Working or, or playing? Uh, both. Oh. Uh, I start <laughs> working. Well, I finished work at 11.30. Really? Oh no. Yes, and I start to play because I need a distraction. <laughs> right, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> okay, so that's cool? why. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, usually I finish work like about 11 also because I teach from 8 to 10 at night. And then by the time I fix everything that I have to do, it's like 11.30. And then I just kind of, I don't know, wander off a little bit. So I usually go to bed like about 12. 
So yeah, you're like, oh no. <laughs> but yeah. it's okay. Very good. Iliana, hi Iliana, how are you? Hi, good morning. Good morning. How's your morning going? So far so good? Uh, good. All right, that's fine. A little Very windy. Good. I know, yeah, it's a little windy and a little cloudy here. But okay, yeah, so. let's see what happens on the rest of the day. Franklin, good morning. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. How are you today, Franklin? Very good. Excellent. All right. Very good. And also Araceli, good morning. And Carla Beatriz. Very good. All right, guys. So let's begin. It's very nice to have you in class one more morning. So that's very, very nice. I know it's very hard sometimes because we have many things to do, but I really appreciate you being here with me. All right. So today, guys, uh, we're not going to talk about what we were talking about yesterday and the last week. We're going to talk about something new, all right? But to do this, I will show you not the video on the platform, but just uh, a picture of the platform where we have some vocabulary, okay? So first, we're going to go over the vocabulary, and then we're going to go over the conversation because I just want to practice it with you. And then we're going to talk about the relative clauses, all right? So that's what we're doing today for the section three, all right? So that's what we have on store for you today. Okay, so I'm gonna take you to the platform here. All right, as I said, I'm not gonna play the audio program. I'm just gonna show you this. Can you guys see this? Yeah, can you see it? Yes. All right, so here we have yes. some vocabulary. Thank you. Some vocabulary that will help you express yourself better or just know more vocabulary. Remember that to learn a language well, you need one, you need to know many verbs. And second, you need to know a lot of vocabulary. All right, Teacher. that's the key. Yes. Sorry, um, yesterday uh, you didn't send the presentation. No, I didn't. I will send it today. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. The thing is, like yesterday, I had some people coming in to do some work at my house. I'm doing some construction. So I was like, going up, uh, like it was a very crazy morning and I totally forgot. But I will today. I promise. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Okay. All right, so I'll send today the presentation of yesterday's class and today's class, okay? Thank you, Prof. All right, very good. So, uh, as I was saying, uh, one of the, um, the key to learn a language, any language, is to know the vocabulary, like more words, all right, and verbs, because they help you express yourself, all right? So here we have a list of um, adjectives, a list of words that they can help you not only say, you know, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, or this is good, 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 but we, we, there are so many other synonyms or there are so many other words that we can use instead of just saying good all the time or instead of saying bad all the time, all right? Some of them you probably know and some of them you probably don't know, all right? So here we have number one, Osma, uh, Exa, can you read number one? The first column, uh, Exa, right here, this one right here. Ileana, then you're gonna read second column. Franklin, you can read number three. <clears throat> and then Carlita, Joanna, you can read the fourth column, okay? Okay, uh, absurd, bizarre, disgusting, dreadful. Very good, all right. Uh, Ileana, can you read the other one, please? Dumb, fabulous, yeah. fantastic, horrible. All right. Who's reading the second one, Franklin? Thank you. Um, marvelous. Yes. Oh. All right. Outs outstanding. outstanding. Yes. All right. Outstanding. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Very good. All right. All right. Someone else. Mm. Who's gonna read number four? Styling. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's, it's silly. Sorry, silly. Uh, silly, terrible. Right. Emotion. Okay. Way. Way. Weird. 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 Very good. All right. Let's see here, guys. Okay. So here we have. Just give me a second, guys. I'm just checking something here. Just give me one second because someone is having. All right, sorry. So here we have absurd, bizarre, disgusting, dreadful, all right? We have dumb, fabulous, fantastic, horrible, marvelous, odd, 
outstanding, ridiculous, silly, terrible, unusual, weird. All right. So those are like the, vo the vocabulary here. All right. I don't know if there is an, a word that you guys don't know what it means. Any word that you don't know the meaning? Uh, Sorry. All right. Okay. Odd. Okay. Let's let's just go over one here. Uh, odd is when something is weird, like not strange. It doesn't fit in. For example, you can say, "Oh, she's so odd." You know, she's so weird. She's a little bit strange. All right. That is odd. Similar to weird, strange. All right. Very good. Another one. Someone said dreadful. Someone said dreadful. Yes. Uh, okay. It's, a, it's similar to terrible. So you say, oh no, this was so dreadful. It was terrible. All right. Dreadful. So it's a synonym, synonym of it. All right. Another one. Marvelous. Marvelous is amazingly beautiful. It's like, wow. You know, you said, oh, this is marvelous. This is great. This is fantastic. It's amazing. For example, if you go to a place that you always wanted to go and you see this place and you say, oh my goodness, this is marvelous this is like wow you know breathtaking all right another one odd, odd is a strange all right another silly. one silly yes silly is stupid silly is like stupid you know like oh this is silly mm -hmm. this is like yeah it's kind of funny watch it in english stupid is not a bad word all right in spanish it is all right but in English, for example, if I think, "I Gabby, you're so silly, you're so stupid," it's not an, it's not offensive. But in Spanish, it is. So be careful with that, all right? But in English, it's okay. You don't, you take it as silly. Stupid is like silly, so it's like funny, like oh, kind of dumb, but it's not offensive, all right? If I tell you it's stupid in Spanish, you would be, you would feel offended, right? But not in English. So silly, stupid, kind of like it's the same, all right? Very good. Any other? What about bizarre? You guys understand the word bizarre? For the second, the second word on the no. first column. Bizarre is strange. So strange, I mean bizarre, odd, weird, unusual, a synonym to strange. So for example, you can say, oh, this is so strange. This is so bizarre. This is so odd. This is so weird. All right, so now you have synonyms that means the same, you know, not only we strange, 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 but also weird, sometimes odd, sometimes bizarre, sometimes like mm, odd. So we can change words, you know, so you're not saying the same thing over and over again. Very good. Another one? Outstanding. Outstanding. Very good. Um, outstanding is like super, like nice, like great, you know. You can say, uh, you did an outstanding job, you did an excellent job, all right? Like outstanding is super nice, it's like wonderful, all right? So it would go under this column here, all right? Wonderful, like nice, super, you know, outstanding, marvelous is something nice, okay? Any other? Dumb, we understand dumb, right? Dumb is like silly also, all right, very good. So you can say, oh, you're so dumb, you're so silly. You're so stupid. You're so ridiculous, all right? And it's the same thing, all right? So it's like not offensive at all, okay? Any Wait. other? Excuse me? <coughs> Weird. Weird, this one? Yeah. Araceli, this one right here? Yes. Weird is uh, strange. You can say, oh, look at that guy. He's so weird. All right, it's like a weirdo, you know? It's like, I don't. <laughs> all right, he's so weird. Okay. Thank you. All right. Very good. Any other? Can dreadful. you? Dreadful. Yeah. Dreadful is like terrible. All right. Dreadful is terrible. All right. It's a dreadful situation. It's a terrible situation. It's something that is not nice, you know? All right. So now guys, I mean, the idea is for you to actually understand the meaning. All right. So you can use it in different situations and not only repeat yourself with the same type of uh, words that we know, okay? Let me see, can you, can you think of another synonym for wonderful? Amazing. Amazing, very good, yes, another one. Can you think, can you think of beautiful. a word? Beautiful, sure, yeah, it's wonderful, it's beautiful, uh-huh. 
What about terrific? You guys know the word incredible. Marvelous. Marvelous, yes. Terrific also, right? Terrific is good. Fantastic. Terrible is bad. Yes, fantastic. Very nice. Very good. All right. All right. Can you think of another um, synonym for strange that you use or that you're like, I don't know, that you have heard before? Any other synonym for strange? For, from the list? No, but you think of, of any other. Think of any other um, word that means um, strange. All right, any ideas? <clears throat> no teacher all right that's okay all right, how well, do you say uh -huh. extravagante yeah like outrageous i guess like oh i don't know like extravagant that's like the, the word exact word all right but then you can say outrageous also all right very good so we have like as i said there are many many uh, words that we must know because there are synonyms to so your level guys I think you should be using, or it would be good for you to use a thesaurus. That's like a dictionary, all right? But it doesn't really give you the meaning of the words. It gives you the synonyms of the words, all right? So those are very, very good for you because at the level that you're in, because you're already communicating in English, all right? You should have this type of books, all right? That they look like a dictionary, but what they give you is that they give you more words for one word, all right? So it's something like related to what we're doing right now, right? So it's, it's, they are very, they come on handy very nicely, all right? But that's okay. Okay, guys, so I wanted to show you that. Then I wanna show you, I'm just gonna go over here. Well, you know what? I'm gonna stop sharing this right now. And I'm gonna uh, play the, um, I'm not gonna play it. We're just gonna, um, we're, we're gonna see the conversation so we can read it. Uh, let me see here, just give me a second. Oh, no. <clears throat> All right. Okay, this is what I want to do right now. I just want to show you this and then we're going to do the rest of it. This is what we're talking about today. Okay. This is on your section three. Just give me a second. This is section three and this is the topic relative to process. All right. This is what we're talking about today. It says, use who or that for people, use which or that for things. Okay, so they are relative pronouns. When we talk about relative clauses, we know they're relative clauses because we're using a relative pronoun. There are many relative pronouns, all right, but the ones that we're studying today are three, who, that, and which, all right? So I'm gonna tell you what they do, but I want you to pay attention to this. It says, he's an actor. He won two Oscars. Here you have two, two separate sentences, okay? You say he's an actor. Subject, verb, and the complement. He won two Oscars. Another sentence. Subject, verb, complement. You have two complete sentences. When we learn English, we usually speak on sentences. Just by, you know, I am fine. How are you? I go to work. I play chess. And then we are like just giving sentences here. When we hit this level, like intermediate or advanced, we need to join sentences so our English sounds more fluent, all right? Sounds better, not like sentences here. And relative clauses, they help you join two sentences, okay? So here we have, he's an actor, he won two Oscars. But you can join them and say, he's an actor, who won two Oscars, all right? So you, if you notice, you made a longer sentence of two little sentences. You know what I'm saying? If you notice here, we have sentence number one and we, saw, we have sentence number two. When we join them, all right, we will have one longer sentence, okay? And here we're using who or we're using that, okay? This is one example. The other example is, it's a movie. It starts Kate Winslet, all right? 
two sentences, but we want to join them. How do we do that? We do it by using relative clauses and using relative pronouns, which or that. It's a movie which starts Kate Winslet, or we say it's a movie that starts Kate Winslet, all right? So we have, as I said, we have three relative pronouns. We're playing with three relative pronouns, who, which, and that. If you notice, that can replace who, I can replace which, and it's okay, all right? So you can say, she is my friend who lives next door. She is my friend that lives next door. But I cannot say she is a friend which lives next door because she's not an object or a thing. All right, so which is only for objects and for things. And who is for people. That is for both. All right, so you can replace either or and then you can join the sentences together, okay? So I'm gonna show you here, I'm gonna stop sharing. This is what I wanted to show you uh, from the platform. And then I'm gonna take you to my presentation that I promise I will share with you today. All right, so here we have, this is it, relative clauses. All right, we're gonna do some reading and then I hope you get, get it from this. Again, we're gonna go over this tomorrow, so don't worry about it. Just let me make it bigger for you. Let's see, Gabby. Can you read? Uh, can you read what you have here? I will be stopping you for a little bit, Gabby, but you can read it and then just go on with the reading, please. Okay. Relative clause are formed by joining two sentences. Um, Peter is the student. He comes from Glasgow. Mm -hmm. Peter is the student who comes from Glasgow. Mm -hmm. The books are on the table. They are mine. The books which are on the table are mine. I have just met Tom. Tom seems to be a nice guy. I, jo I have just met Tom, who seems to be a nice guy. I'd love to visit London. It's a beautiful city. I love to visit London, which, which is a beautiful city. Thank you, Gabby. All right, very good. So here, guys, if you go back, we, if we go back right here, we're talking about two relative clauses. I mean, relative clauses are formed by joining two sentences. If you don't join two sentences, you don't have a relative clause. You just have a normal sentence, okay? So you need to understand that. When, uh, if you want to have a relative clause, clause means sentence, all right? But it's a very fancy grammatically way of saying sentence, all right? So a relative clause, a relative sentence, or a group of sentences are formed by joining two sentences, okay? For example, you have Peter is a student, all right? Plus, he comes from Glasgow, all right, this city. Now you wanna join it. You wanna join these two sentences to have a longer sentence. And then you say, Peter is a student who comes from Glasgow, all right? What happens in those two sentences? Can someone tell me what is happening here? If I have these two, I mean, these are relative clause already, what is the difference between this longer sentence and these two short sentences? What's going on there? What happens on that sentence? In the second, yeah, I mean. the, the subject. Okay. And you use, and use the, the, the relative pronoun, right? Very good. Okay, the relative pronoun, you use who. All right, now that one becomes a relative clause. If you realize, because you're using a relative pronoun who, and if someone asks you from where does the relative clause begins, it begins from who comes from Glasgow. All right, your point of departure is who comes from Glasgow because you take the who. That is the key word. If you see the who, you're saying, okay, this is a relative pronoun, therefore this is a relative clause. All right, now you're joining it. This, what it does, it makes your English more fluent and your ideas convey better, all right? Or you have the books are on the table plus they are mine. 
and then you say the books which are on the table are mine and then you're kind of like putting it in, in the middle right if you notice the books and then you interrupt it and you say which are on the table are mine right let's see the other example i've just met tom tom seems to be a nice guy i've just met tom who seems to be a nice guy all right so here we're joining them by the relative pronoun who or which or you can say that in either or the other sentence all right let's go on here remember can someone else read this one for me Me. Okay. Um, Exa, you want to read this one and then uh, you can read the other one. Uh, remember, <laughs> when we join two sentences with a uh, relative pronoun or adverb, we have to omit the noun, pronoun, possessive, possessive that the relative replace. In the previous sentences, he, they, Tom, it. Relative clauses go right after the noun they modify. Excellent. All right. So here, thank you. Except uh, what they are saying is exactly what Ileana told us. All right. They the the uh, when you take about you talk about relative pronouns or relative clauses, you have to omit the subject, the pronoun, the possessive, whatever you're using. So in the sen the previous sentences, we omitted he. If you if you look at example number one, it says Peter is the student he comes from glasgow we omitted he and we replace it by who on the second example we omitted they as they say here on the third example we omitted tom and on the second example we omitted it all right so here they are omitted all right they are replaced they are replaced by who or which or that all right relative clauses go right after the noun they modify all right Let's go on here. Relative clauses. Uh, someone to read this one. Uh, re it gives relative clauses give essential information. That's what it says at the top. Relative clauses give essential information. Someone continue after that about information about a general term or expression. Okay. Defining relative clauses are not put in commas. Right. Uh, I talked to the man who who gave you the news. Okay. I I read the letter which came this morning. Uh, which man? The one who gave who gave you the news. Uh, which letter? The one that arrived this morning. All right. Very good. Thank you. All right, so uh, defining relative clauses. What do they do? You're asking, okay, teacher, but what do they do? I mean, why do I need a relative clause for, like, for me to use it? They give you essential information about the general term or expression. They give you more info, all right? Defining relative clauses are not putting commas, all right? That's something that you need to remember when you're writing them because the who, the which, or the that replaces the comma. All right, so you say, I talked to the men who gave me or who gave you the news. You don't need a comma between men and who. That would be incorrect, grammatically speaking. So I talked to the men who gave you the news. I read the letter which came this morning. If you notice, no commas are being used. All right, so you can ask, which men? The one, the, uh, the one who gave you the news. Which letter? The one that arrived this morning. All right. So these, um, you're asked. You can ask these questions. All right. When you're using this um, relative clauses. All right. Someone else to read. Remember. Can someone else read the other slide, please? Yeah, uh, me teacher. Yes, thank remember. you. Remember, useful to refer to people and which to refer to animals things that can replace who and which in defining relative clauses. Defining. Mm -hmm. Defining relative clauses. Did you know the girl who that came to the party yesterday? The book which that, which or that 
I am reading is very interesting. Excellent, all right, so remember, thank you. So remember, you uh, use who to refer to people always, all right? And which to refer to things or animals. That can replace both. That can replace who, or it can replace which, all right? And it's okay. So here you, have, you say, did you know the girl who came to the party last night or yesterday? Did you know the girl that came to the party yesterday? And it's the same. You're saying exactly the same. And then number two, it says, uh, the book which I'm reading is very interesting or the book that I'm reading is very interesting, okay? Do you have any questions? Because if not, I have questions for you. <laughs> questions so far? No questions? All right, very good. This is what I want you to do right now. I'm going to stop sharing this, okay? And I'm going to go back to the uh, vocabulary we had on the platform, all right? Just give me one second. I'm going to get it out. And what I want you to do is, right now, I just want you to give me sentence, single sentences. Just give me a second. Put it here, there. Okay, so this is what I want you to do. I'm gonna show them to you again. I don't know if you need to take a picture of them. Just give me a second. I'm gonna put them again so you guys can see it. And what I wanna, I want you to do is the following. I want you to come up with sentences, just simple sentences. For example, you say, I don't know, I feel uh, dumb. You don't feel dumb, but that's just an example, all right? Or you say, uh, this is weird, all right? Just, just come up with sentences like that, all right? I want you to come up, choose some vocabulary, all right? You can play with he, she, they, whatever subject you want, all right? And then I'm going to tell you what to do, all right? So I want you to come up, choose from, I don't know, we have like about maybe 12 or so many uh, adjectives. Choose five with your partners and then just write simple sentences. I don't want you to come up with relative clauses right now. That's the second step, okay? Do you understand what you're gonna do? Yeah? All right, so just simple sentences with uh, those adjectives that we have. All right. There you go.
Hi, teacher. Hello. Yeah, like uh -huh. Teacher, the, yes. the sentence we were right? Yeah. It, it's a simple sentence. Maybe simple sentence. I I love this weather. That's right. Or you say, for okay. example, but you've seen these, these adjectives that we, we were seeing, right? Like, I don't know, this weather um, is bizarre. All right, this situation of COVID-19 is dreadful. All right, like things ah, like okay. just sentences so I know that I make sure that you guys know how to how to use them. Okay, you, right. using the, the, the adjectives. Right? That's right, yes, using the adjectives that are on the platform. Mm -hmm. And then okay. we're going to do the exercises for the uh, relative clauses. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah. Teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, number one. This weather. How, how do you say to Carla? This weather is. Table. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. Okay. okay. I feel terrible. <laughs> This morning I feel terrible. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The, the the car I don't know the this dress are bizarre I don't know yes I guess this dress yes okay Another word. Um, uh, he With the, oh no he had he had weird picture oh 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 word synonym of act what uh, synonym oh, of act the um perform perform ah uh, oh, okay yes mm -hmm. thank you so instead of saying he acted, I don't know, marvelous, you said he performed marvelously. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, Henry Cable. Henry Cable performed marvelous. Who? Who says? In the sentence, repeat the sentence, please. Ah, uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Hi, teacher. <laughs> hi, Carlita. Hi, Gabby. Juan Carlos. You seem to be having fun. Hi, teacher. <laughs> hi. Hello. The rainbow is fantastic. Hey. I like that one. <laughs> we are talking about the the, the Kimflit attitude. Oh my goodness! <laughs> All right, Kimflit yes. is absurd. Yeah, very much so. <laughs> um, marvelous. Mm. Okay, next. <laughs> okay, fabulous. <laughs> um, fabulous. Uh, the parties in my toe were fabulous. The party. 
The parties in my toe were fabulous. Sí, se puede ver. Es fabulous. Ah, in que salte, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so que salte Juan Carlos is where they have the balls of fire. No, yes. it's in the hap. Oh, no, in the hap. In the Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, a la par. <laughs> it's next door. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I I like the the calabiusa in Tonaca. Is oh. the the first November. Oh, really? November 1st, uh-huh. November 1st. Oh, I didn't know about that one. And do you live, in, do you live there, um, Gabby? No, no, oh, okay. no. Okay. I live in Santa Lucia, in Ilopango. Right, okay. Right. Uh, terrible, Carlita. Terrible. Um... No. Uh, the this, most, uh -huh. <laughs> this movie ah, is okay. terrible. Okay. Uh, what happened to Marvelous? <laughs> uh, Marvelous is fantastic. Yeah, like uh, beautiful, uh, like nice, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gabby, uh, your dress is marvelous. marvelous. Oh, oh my goodness. God. <laughs> your dress is marvelous. That's right, yeah. Beautiful. Marvelous. Yeah. All right, very good. Okay. All right. Yeah, remember the pronunciation for this one is fabulous. All right? Fabulous. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. fabulous. Right, fabulous. very good. Okay. Right. And this one is absurd. 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 Sir, very good. And the other ones, I think you got okay with it. Fantastic, and then you have terrible and marvelous. Marvelous. Yes. Marvelous only, only, only remember that the Avengers. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, let's see. The rainbow's fantastic. King Flip is absurd. Your dress is marvelous. The party in my town is fabulous. All right. And this movie is terrible. Very good. All right, we're going to go back. I just want to see. I mean, the idea for you making sentences is because I want to see that you guys know how to use the words in the right context, okay? And then we're going to do something else with the rest of the uh, sentences, okay? Okay. So we're going to go back right now, and I'll tell you what to do. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys, very good. Uh, you guys finished your sentences, simple sentences? No big deal. All right, Ileana, tell us uh, a couple, two of your sentences, any of the sentences that you wrote, please. Okay, and number one, this weather is fantastic. All right. And these dress are bizarre. These dress, this dress are, or this dress is? It's bizarre. All right. It's bizarre, like, yeah, weird, right? Okay, all right, nice, very good. Exa, what are your two sentences that you came up with on your group? Uh, some laws are very absurd. Uh -huh. <laughs> Most of them in El Salvador. I have one. <laughs> um, my brother is bizarre. Oh, okay. I hope it's just an example, all right? <laughs> all right, let's see. Gabi, uh, tell us your sentences. Okay, um, the rainbow is fantastic. Mm -hmm. King Philip is absurd. Yes, absurd. absurd. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> All right. Your dress, your dress is marvelous. All right, very good. The party in my town is fabulous. All right. And this movie is terrible. All right, very good. All right, nice. Araceli, can you give us two more examples? Okay. Um, <clears throat> the weather is 
unusual. Unusual, unusual, yeah, very much so. Unusual, unusual. Yes. Huh? Um, the, the, the news are horrible. Okay. Um, the grandfather movie is old. All right, oh, God. okay. Okay, very good. All right, now, thank you, Araceli, very good. So why did I ask you to make sentences is because I want you to start using these new words or these new vocabulary. Maybe you have heard them before, maybe you have used them before, all right? But now you are like using them and it's very good for you to say that instead of saying, oh, your dress is beautiful, your dress is pretty, you can say, oh, your dress is marvelous, you know, because it's amazing, all right? Instead of saying, oh, you know, Salvador, I mean, laws are stupid, you can say laws are absurd, all right? <laughs> or uh, talking about this guy, right? So, like, the idea is for you to experiment using different words, all right? Not only the same old words that we know all the time, all right? So that was the idea behind it. Very good. I'm going to show you for the last couple of minutes here, like about 10 minutes that we have left, before we take attendance, I want you to work on this. Tomorrow, don't worry about the relative clauses. Tomorrow we'll keep on talking a little bit more about this and we have time to work on the rest of the platform. Don't worry about it, okay? So what I want you to do right now is this one. I want you to take a picture of this. It says make one sentence from the two short ones. The sentence in italics should become the relative clause. The relative pronoun is the subject of the relative clause, all right? So just make sure that you join these two sentences. Take a picture of this. I think we, we will have time to make 10 sentences. If not, that's okay. So take a picture of this. Ready? Okay. And then take a picture of these other five sentences, right? Remember, you're using who or which or that. You can either use that for who or which in case you don't want to use that one, all right? So here we have two sentences. You have the first part of the sentence and then you have the second part of your sentence. Combine them by using a relative pronoun and then you will have a relative clause. It's one whole sentence, okay? Try it. Let's see what happens. Don't worry if you don't really understand it much. Tomorrow we'll keep on doing and talking about this, okay? Right now, the idea is to try it with what you know already, okay? So I'm going to send you right now again to your groups, all right? So work on these sentences right now. Let's see how it works out. Franklin, I'm going to move you because you are by yourself. Someone just um, probably had an internet connection or something.
Yes. Uh, that's what we're ready. We don't the computer. The computer belongs to my father. Which we broke the computer that belonged to my father. Mm -hmm. I dropped the glass. The glass was me. The glass that was which, mm -hmm. uh -huh. I mm -hmm. dropped a glass which was new. Mm -hmm. I dropped a glass which was new. Yes. She loved books which have happy endings. Mm -hmm. They live in a city that is the north of England. That is in the north of England. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, number nine, the man is in the garden. Who? Who? Uh -huh. uh, who is uh, wearing? Who is wearing a blue jumper? Mm -hmm. The girl works on a bank who is from India. Who is from India? Mm -hmm. who, is? Mm -hmm. who is from India? Okay. Oh, that's from. Sorry. <laughs> Finished. Yes. Bueno, your leader, your, Carla, your leader, uh, doc, doc, doc. Carlita, hi, hi. Again. hi. <laughs> hi. Uh, okay. Can you, uh, sentence number nine and sentence number 10, can we go over that one? I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna um, share with them. I mean, I'm gonna share them to you here. Okay. All right, so we have them here. The man, mm -hmm. the man in the garden. He's in the garden. Who is wearing a blue jumper? The man in the garden who's wearing a blue jumper. Okay. Does that make sense to you? Or is there any other way that you can make it better? That. That is wearing a blue jumper. I mean, either who or that would be okay. But the, the position of the words. Mm. Maybe the man who who is in the garden wearing a blue jumper. Mm, kind of the man. Uh huh. Just continue. Just give me one second. The man. That a blue jumper wearing. No, the man mm. who, who, who is in the, uh -huh. who is in the garden. No, no, the oh, man who is wearing a blue jumper. Uh -huh. Where is he? He's in the garden. That's right. So we switch that one completely. We're gonna see oh, those tomorrow. Okay. All right. Yes, the man who is wearing a blue jumper is in the garden. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? Okay. And the number ten. Uh -huh. is... Try to do that one too. The girl who is from India uh -huh. works in a bank. Perfect. Yay, Liana, you got it. Very nice. Okay. But only only two sentences are this. Only those two sentences, yes. I mean, there are more, but we're going to do those tomorrow. Okay. All right. Okay. okay the other ones, I was listening and they were okay. For example, hold on, someone is texting me here. Uh, 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 no, maybe not. All right, let's see. I drop a glass. The what? The glass was you. So that way you just join it, right? I drop the uh, glass which was you, or that was you. All right, either or. Remember, you can say which or that. What about number seven, um, Carlita? Uh, she loves the book, 
which have happy endings. Yeah, everybody loves happy books. All right. <laughs> yeah, she loves books. Who? I mean, that have or which have happy endings. Very good. They live in a city, uh huh, which is in the north of England. Very good. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Okay. Yeah. The thing is, like, if you follow the same pattern with these two, the meaning is kind of bizarre. All right. It's a little bit strange. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's like mm, it makes sense. But it's better because then you identify. Remember that relative clauses, they give you uh, information about someone. All right. Mm -hmm. So you say the men, which men? The one wearing blue jumper. What about him? Is in the garden. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's like you're asking a bunch of questions that are being answered with one whole sentence. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Yes. So you say, which men are you talking about? You say the one wearing a blue jumper. What happens? He's in the garden, all right? So it's like you can ask those questions. And if you can ask those questions in the same sentence, you're making a proper sentence. All right? Mm -hmm. Very good. So we're going to see those tomorrow anyway, uh, it, because it's a little bit like they're a little bit different, OK? Yes, OK. Very good. Okay. All right. But Thank the rest you, are teacher. fine. Thank you. Oops, oh my goodness, it's 7.30 already? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I'm twice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bye. 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 All right, guys. I'm sorry I didn't see the time. Oh my goodness, it's time to go. It's fl time flies in this class. All right. Uh, I'm gonna take attendance right now, and then tomorrow we're gonna check all the ten sentences. Okay, especially number nine and number ten. So be careful with those two sentences because they are they change a little bit, all right? But I was telling Ileana and Carlita that we're gonna go over those sentences tomorrow, okay? So I'm gonna take attendance right now because I know you have to go. Carla Beatriz Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Veronica Beatriz Celso. Osmani Xabu de Leon. Present. Vania Itzel Deras de Cañas. Blanca Estela Marroquín. She texted me. Franklin de Jesus Martinez. Present. Carla Joana Martinez. Present. Thank you, Giovanni Alberto Orantes Flores. Hey, what happened with Giovanni? All right. Uh, Gabriela Beatriz Reyes Ramirez. Gabriel. Present. Yes, thank you, Gabby. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you were the first in class. All right. Dalila Estela Silva Moran. Okay. Uh, Maria Araceli Gonzalez Flores. Present. Thank you. Sinia Elizabeth Mejia. Present. Hi, Sinia. Very good. Sofia Guadalupe Hernandez. Not today. All right. Juan Carlos Molina Martinez. Present. Claudia Iliana Casun. Present. Brenda Lucia Rosales Guzmán. Karen Lisset Reyes. All right. And Francisco Isaac Cabrera Mestizo. All right. Okay, guys. So I'm going to let you go right now. I'm sorry I took like a, mi a minute or so from your uh, work. So I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. We're going to check the sentences tomorrow and we'll keep on talking about this. All right. Thank you, guys. Okay, Please bye. keep safe. Bye. Thank Have you. a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. bye. Have a great day.